Hi students, I'm Adrian. I'm here to help you learn Korean. Today, let's make sentences with five phrases. This lesson is to introduce the five expressions to you and make sentences with them. We memorize many new words, but we don't know how to use them. Because we don't use them, we easily forget them. It makes learning Korean is very difficult. If we learn the new words and expressions, it's better to use for our writing and speaking right away. Therefore, in today's lesson, we are going to learn the new five expressions and make sentences with them. And I will also introduce new grammar to you. So you can practice making Korean sentences with a new word and new grammar. Are you ready? Let's go! Our first expression we are going to talk about is 일을 하다. 일을 하다, which means to work. It can be 일하다. 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 일을 하다, 일하다, they are both same which means to work. Please memorize this. And we are going to make three sentences with that expression. The first sentence we would like to make is I work at a restaurant. The first, what do you need to do? We need to find the subject. The subject is I. 저는 What comes after the subject? Yes. Let's find the verb. Where is the verb? Yes. Work is a verb. How to say work in Korea? 일을 하다. But 일을 하다, we need to change 일을 해요. 하다, 하다, 해요, 해요. Okay? And at a restaurant, where does go at a restaurant? Yes, between the subject and verb. At a restaurant, 식당에서. 식당에서. Here, as a marker that is used with a noun that shows the information of the location where something happens. So where do I work? I work at a restaurant. The restaurant is the place where I work and as a is used after restaurant. Next, I want to work in Korea. How to say Korea in Korean? 한국 한국 and work, how to say work in Korean? 일을 하다 or 일하다. So let's get started. I, 저는, what is the verb in, in this sentence? Yes, want to. Want to is the verb in this sentence. How to say want to in Korean? 고 싶다. Uh, but want to work, how to say work in Korean? 일을 하다. 일을 하다. So, you have to combine the two expressions. 일을 하다 plus 고 싶다. And how do we combine the two expressions? Yes, 다 doesn't mean anything. And 일을 하고 싶다. 일을 하고 싶다. Want to work. To want to work. 일을 하고 싶다. And 싶다, we need to change. 싶어요. 싶어요. 싶다 is changed into 싶어요. And in Korea, 한국에서 한국에서 일을 하고 싶어요. I want to work in Korea. 저는 한국에서 일을 하고 싶어요. And as a, again, as a, this is a marker which is used with a noun that has the information of the location where something happens. So, where do I want to work? Yes, I want to work in Korea. That's why the marker as a is used after 한국 because 한국 is the place where, where I want to work. Next, I didn't work yesterday. How to say yesterday in Korean? We say 어제. 어제. So, verb 일을 하다. The verb is work, 일을 하다, but didn't, didn't, didn't. How to say didn't? Actually, how do we make a negative sentence in Korean grammar? 
And we have chi anta. Chi anta. Chi anta is the expression to have a negative sentence. It means not or don't or doesn't. Didn't is a past tense and asoyo. Asoyo is the ending form to make the sentence past tense. We need to combine three things to express didn't work. 일을 하다, to work, 지 않다, don't or doesn't, 왔어요, past tense. So, 다, disappear, doesn't mean anything. And then, 안 왔다, combine together. 저는 일을 하지 않았어요, I didn't work. And 저는 is a subject, 일을 하지 않았어요, can be verb. And then, where does the yesterday go? Yes, between subject and verb. So, we say 어제. 저는 어제 일을 하지 않았어요. 저는 어제 일을 하지 않았어요. Let's go to the second phrase. 메시지를 보내다. 메시지를 보내다, which means to send a message. Our first sentence to make in Korean, I sent a message to my friend. Friend, how do you say friend in Korean? 친구. Send a message, 메시지를 보내다. And this is a past tense. Sent. So let's find subject. 저는. And we need to find the verb. Send a message. Send a message. So, 메시지를 보내다. But sent, past tense. 보내다 plus 어서요. So here, 다 doesn't mean anything. 메시지를 보내었어요. 메시지를 보내었어요. But we need to, we must combine 네 and 어. So we say 보냈어요. 메시지를 보냈어요. We need to combine 네 and 어. We cannot put it separately. We have to combine. So we have to say 보냈어요. 저는 메시지를 보냈어요. The meaning of this sentence is I sent a message, right? And then we have to my friend. To my friend. 저는 메시지를 보냈어요. It means I sent a message. I sent a message, right? And we have to my friend. So to my friend friend, 친구, 친구, and 에게, we say to, you can have 에게 for to, 친구에게, 친구에게, 저는 친구에게 메시지를 보냈어요, 저는 친구에게 메시지를 보냈어요, 에게 is the marker which is used with the nouns where something or somebody is sent to. So I sent a message to who? So the friend is the person who I sent my message to. And ege is used right after the person. So the marker ege is attached to the friend. Next, I didn't send a message to my friend. I, 저는, 보내다. Send a message, 메시지를 보내다, 메시지를 보내다. But, didn't, didn't, didn't is a negative sentence and past tense. What ending do we need to make a negative sentence? Yes, 지 않다. And, and past tense, 왔어요, 왔어요. So, there are three phrases for didn't send message. 메시지를 보내다 plus 지 않다 plus 왔어요. 저는 메시지를 보내지 않았어요. I didn't send a message to my friend. 친구에게 친구에게 to my friend. 저는 친구에게 메시지를 보내지 않았어요. Next. If I send a message, my friend will receive it. Receive, how to say receive in Korean? 받다. 
받다. So I send a message. 제가 메시지를 보내다. 보내다. Then here if 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 in Korean 으면 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 if but here 보내다 네 doesn't have the ending consonant doesn't have the 받침 so we can use 면 right so 다 doesn't mean anything 제가 메시지를 보내면 if I send a message if I send a message my friend will receive it what is the subject in this sentence yeah that's right my friend 친구가 친구가 receive receive in Korean 받다 받다 but will will future tense plus 을 거예요 을 거예요 을 거예요 다 no meaning we don't need it so 친구가 받을 거예요 my friend will receive it 친구가 받을 거예요 how do we say send a message in Korean 메시지를 보내다 